Okay, hey everyone, welcome back to Mission Impact Series with Tracy and Ty. And this is the last in the series of complicated times with simple solutions. So we've gone through legal issues where we talked about um, legal knowledge, whether or not you're able to hire a, um, a lawyer, get some type of assistance. There's so much assistance out there so you can get your legal components of your business correct. We talked about bylaws. We talked about SOPs, a bunch of stuff. So go watch that one. And then we talked about board business, right? Um, making sure that your board is not is knowledgeable when it comes to governance, parliamentary procedures, and just general fundraising making sure that your board is not, there's no conflict of interest with your board that could actually be the demise of your board. And that's whether you have a paid board, a non um, a volunteer board, or even an advisory board, right? And then the, we talked, the last one, we talked about training and experience when it comes to managing staff, right? Making sure you have operating manuals in, in place, you have um, policies and procedures, you have your employee handbook, all of the things that make it simple for you to run your business because, and oh, we talked about job descriptions. <laughs> yes, making sure that everybody knows what they're supposed to be doing, when they're supposed to be doing, doing it, who they're reporting to, what they're responsible for. All of these things help to keep it simple. It seems complicated, but they're simple solutions when you have documents in place. So today we're going to talk about strategy at place, <clears throat> strategy at play, right? Um, and this goes right back to just everything I've just talked about, having a plan in play, right? Having a plan and policies and procedures, all of that stuff, we're going to wrap it up in this session. So if this is your first time um, catching us, my name is Tracy Gallen. I'm the owner of TBA Consulting Group, where I help change agents to design, build, and fund their social ventures so that they can live the lifestyle that they desire while impacting their communities. All right. And I'm Ty Boone. I'm owner of Ty Boone Enterprises. I work mostly with nonprofit organizations, helping them to move from startup and struggle to sustainability and success. And you know, Tracy, strategy for some people, even when it's laid out, is is difficult to implement. And I think that we have the the SOPs, we have all the plans in place, and then we start to work and start doing the things, and we forget about it. <laughs> and we're like, and we're okay. Yeah. Well, I got this whole manual sitting up here on the shelf. Mm -hmm. Yet I'm going to Facebook asking questions about how am I supposed to. Um, onboard my accountant when it's right there in my thing, right? right. Because we, we forget about it. Sometimes we just get busy and we have to stop and take a minute and say, hey, I got all this stuff. I need to I need to sit down and, and we need to, to get our organization, our company, our business together. Everybody needs to meet and, and understand what the processes look like. And, we need to and people will ask, I'm just going to play devil's advocate because this is the question I get asked a lot when I say that is, mm -hmm. well, how can I do that? I'm trying to run my business. I don't have time. Sometimes mm -hmm. you have to put everything on pause, right? Mm -hmm. um, just for sake of saying this, God didn't work every single day. He took the seventh day off, right? <laughs> so you got to do that in your own business, right? You have to take some time off. So whether it's a day and you just say, we're not taking any clients this day, of course, you have to plan it out, right? At least two weeks in advance so you can send out notices that you're going to be closed on this day. And go through all of the documents you have and, and um, what do you call it? Arrange them so that you know where everything is and everybody else knows where everything is. That people mm -hmm. understand what is there. Because that has happened to me. And I'm sure it's happened to you where mm -hmm. I'm trying to reinvent the wheel. When I invented the wheel <laughs> well, 10 years ago, okay? And it's sitting in some file, obscure file on my computer. And mm -hmm. it's not until I'm almost done. And I'm like, this just... It seems like I've done it before. <laughs> you know, this seems like I've done it before. So I'm searching my, I'm literally scouring my computer for keywords, trying to find this file that possibly has this word in it so that I can see what I created. And then I go back and I'm like, darn it, I just wasted four <laughs> hours of my time, okay, that I can never get back because I didn't have my stuff in place. Right. Mm -hmm. I didn't have a succinct, you know, filing system 
that mm -hmm. reminded me, okay, here you go. This mm -hmm. policy and procedure for this particular thing was already created or this job description was already created or, you know, whatever it is that I'm looking for. And that is the worst thing. Or even mm -hmm. sometimes when I'm doing um, workshops, right? And then mm -hmm. I'm asked for a handout or even just for the um, for the outline for the workshop. And I'm like, oh, this thing's like a workshop I have done before. <laughs> I'm certain I have done this workshop before. And I go and I'm, you know, putting this outline together. I'm like, halfway through, I'm like, mm-mm. Yeah. I've done this workshop before. You I'm know? Sure. <laughs> and then I go looking for it. And then they ask for a handout. And I'm like trying to create a whole new handout. I'm like, I know I've done a handout before. So just making sure you have good filing systems. Of, and, you know, so you can keep everything together. So you're not always spending time wasting. Time is mm -hmm. money and time is precious. Mm -hmm. And most of us became entrepreneurs because we wanted to reclaim our time, not to be cliche, but literally that's what we wanted to. We wanted to have control of our time. But a lot of times we spend most of our time reinventing the wheel. Yep. And I was just going to say that, I'm like, you know, time is the thing. You think about how many webinars and trainings and stuff we do, and we've done tons of them, right? Mm -hmm. Sometimes you may change up a little bit, but even if you were, if you were to file things like you're supposed to, and you're like, that's kind of like that one. So maybe we can get this one and I can grow from that one or whatever. I mm -hmm. say like two hours. Right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I do have nickel. Mm, I can't really hear it on my end. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, that that's kind of what it is. And no matter whether you're a for-profit or a non-profit business, you're a social enterprise, social entrepreneur, you need to have someone come in and help you with strategic planning. Um, I know we've beaten this, this um, horse to death at this point, but business plans are literally your roadmap to success. You need to sit down and plan out your business, whether it's a full-fledged business plan or one-page business plan. You need to know what it is that you're going to be doing in your business, who you're going to be doing it for, how it's going to be done, what price point are you going to sell these products and services at, because this determines whether or not you're going to be able to make money. It's part mm -hmm. of your feasibility study. You got to do some market research. You need to know who your competitors are, what your competitors are doing, all of this stuff that goes into part of your planning and your procedures, whether you can hire employees. Can you hire these employees? You know, would you be making enough money or do you just need to have 1099? Is it feasible for you to hire employees over 1099? How is your work structured? Do you need them to work a certain time? You know, start at eight o'clock, finish at five o'clock. You know, all of these things you have to explore and this comes into planning. So strategic planner, coming in and helping your organization to map out what it's going to look like to run the business effectively is essential to a lot of organizations. Now, I understand it is extremely expensive to get a good strategic, not just somebody who says they're a strategic, but somebody who could really, you know, help you with strategy and write up, helping you to write up this strategic um, plan that is going to not just sit on the shelf like Ty said, but it's actually going to be utilized to drive the organization forward. And it's well that worth is necessary. It if you implement, right? It's well worth it. If you have a good strategic plan and you implement it accordingly, it's well worth it, no matter what the cost is. Mm -hmm. It's just, we have a lot of people get the business plan, get the strategic plan, get the funding plan, and then it just sits there. Yeah. You know, and because we say we don't have time. <laughs> I, don't time, I don't have time to do, I had the money to buy it, but I don't have the time to implement it. So now it doesn't work. And but then you shouldn't be doing anything that's not on the strategic plan. So okay. you actually don't have time because you're creating excessive work for yourself yeah. because you're not implementing what's actually gonna take you to the next level. Girl, I even you know what? That's that's not true. And you know, in strategic plans. You have your you have it laid out. So even things like hiring, when you're going, okay, well, I know that by this month, I want I want to be able to hire one person, right? If my business grows to this level, then I'll hire this one person. But I'm not paying attention to the student plan. I don't know what's going on. This month has gone by. I haven't looked at my goals. I don't see how much money I have or anything. Mm -hmm. Before you know it, I either, I either don't have anybody hired or I've hired too many people <laughs> because. That because happens. What, I, what we planned out. Yep. That does happen. And that's why we can create the strategic plan. And I know a lot of people say, oh, I paid all this money for the strategic plan and it's not working. 
Well, ma'am, you're not implementing it. So it's never going to work. You didn't stop doing what you were doing prior to having the strategic plan created. So mm -hmm. the strategic plan was created. You continue to do the same things that you were doing prior. So no, it's not going to work because you're actually not implementing it. Right. Now, I think a lot of people just don't understand the purpose of a plan. Mm -hmm. The purpose is- so, and, and to talk about that too, is that, okay, so I do strategic planning. Um, a you can you can negotiate for your strategic planner to help you with implementation. If you know that's where you fail at, you can have them be kind of like your accountability partner mm -hmm. to help you make sure that you're implementing and make um, meeting your be benchmarks until mm -hmm. you're able to seamlessly do it on your own. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of people don't realize that. Yeah, you're, you're right. Because a lot of people get stuck right at implementation. You know, they mm -hmm. got all the stuff and they're like, oh, now that was pretty. Like that was, that was right. a nice document, but okay. No, but. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, but yeah, so that's it. You know, take everything that you have, your legal, your, um, your board business, your trainings, your staff, and create plans that you're actually going to implement. Have somebody come in and create those plans for you. Because I think in our line of business, Ty, and I think we've had discussions on this many times before, um, we deal with a lot of people and it's not a bad thing. We need all the people in the world to make up this unique um, world that we live in. That a lot of these people are visionaries, mm -hmm. not implementers. Mm -hmm. Right. So they have the grand idea, but they need someone else to create the plan and help them to implement it. Mm -hmm. So in order, if you are, at, if you are that type of person, you definitely need to hire people mm -hmm. to help you get it where it is, because some of them have, they, they really are doing it from their hearts, mm -hmm. but they just can't get it done um, because they're not implementers. And if you, if you hire somebody who really understands your vision they could help you to develop a plan that's within your capacity to perform. Yes. Right. So that it cuts not to not to downplay your vision, mm -hmm. but some this is why the strategic process is is important because mm -hmm. somebody who knows how to do this will help you to break that vision up into little pieces. Right. Say, okay, well, right now let's do this part. Mm -hmm. We we don't have to do this part today. We're gonna do this part, and we're gonna do this next month. We're gonna, and this is gonna be done next year, and by year two, you'll have this done, or however, whatever kind of strategic plan you have together. Um, I I think that most visionaries get overwhelmed because they're looking at the vision, the big picture. Yeah, and they're not looking they're not looking at the mission. And I keep reminding people, you know, the mission is what you're doing now. Mm -hmm. The mission is what you're walking out today. We're walking out our mission. We are doing this. We're achieving this goal. We're doing it. Whatever. Your vision is what you plan to do at some point in the future. And mm -hmm. sometimes visionaries have a hard time getting that bridge from mission to vision. Yeah. They're just like, we're just going to jump over there. We're just going to fall out. We're going <laughs> to be a vision. Like, hey, this is yeah. it. But there's a process in between. And that's those strategies that you get from your strategic plan. Th that's the process. That's what you have to do to get to that to mm -hmm. the vision that you're trying to reach. Okay. So again, that is um, how you get your strategy at play is putting everything into, not just planning it out, but actually implementing it. So we hope that you found this series, Complicated Times with so Simple Solutions, effective. If you have questions, please make sure you drop them down below. Um, all of our contact information is always in the description, how to contact Ty, how to contact myself. So we hope you found this um, informative and um, come back for our next one. So next month, we're gonna be talking about <clears throat> the yellow brick road. We're going to Oz. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Bye everyone.